What's up, everybody? Hey, Thanks guys. for coming out. Comic Combos is back. Yes, hey, the hey, Leo hey. Rydell and Axel, uh, excuse me, Axel <laughs> Grave duo is back. We it did it. It's been a long couple weeks, guys. Oh, it's been longer than a to be weeks. back, though. It's so good to be back. Yeah, it I mean, always feels nice to like come back in after it's been a second sometimes yeah. because then there's like more stuff to do. And then also we've all obviously missed you guys. So yeah, we miss there's everybody. Man. Hopefully there's tons of people tuning in. But yeah, yeah. I'm sure people will jump in at any moment. Yeah. But oh my goodness, guys. Jesus, man, there's so, so much. Much. So do we start from oldest to newest, and most recent to oldest, most exciting? <laughs> there's so much to cover. I mean, I guess we can start with what's going on today. Hello. What's up, Mikey? Hey, Thanks Mikey. Thanks for coming in, man. I'll see. Oh, that reminds me. Mikey will He's be coming here. out. Yeah, yes. he told me. So if, if Mikey wants to, I guess that he can invoke his uh, $5 patron right to appear on an episode. Yeah. I mean, hey, man, you're a patron, so we would definitely invite you to come on an episode. Um, but I guess we'll start with the most recent thing, that Punisher trailer. Oh, man. it dropped this morning. Like, I'm literally, like, getting ready to leave the house sitting down, and I'm like, Wait, did they just drop a new Punisher trailer? Yeah, right? I'm like, I'm like hold on. And which is so weird because I feel like I subscribe and follow the page even I didn't see anything. But mm -hmm. maybe I don't follow. Maybe I just like, I don't know. But yeah, and then I had to go look it up. I was like, yeah, and they gave right? date. It's and then out. it's like, why did you put it on the same day? <laughs> <Justice> <laughs> See, got it all up. Dude, I was like chilling on Twitter and like nothing about the Punisher, right? And then I hit refresh and I see hashtag the Punisher in the top and I'm like, what the fuck? And it's like two minutes ago this, the trailer was posted and I'm like, new trailer? And then it revealed the fucking release date. Yes, which we've been waiting for. I'm going to try to get down there by 8 p.m. your time on the 26th. Nice. nice. Okay, that's not too far out. A couple weeks. Definitely. Yeah. And, yeah, the, I'm sorry. So here's the two things. Like, with the Punisher trailer release, yes, I'm happy. Only because they've been teasing this thing for so long. Since the drop of Defenders and before. I mean, it, the Punisher, I feel like we've been hearing about that since early this year. We've basically Maybe before. We've basically been hearing about the Punisher since he showed up on Daredevil. Yeah, it was almost. Hey, Kevin. What's up, Trude? Kevin? Thank you for coming. Thank you. Wow. I guess that reminds me. We should take a second to thank all of our patrons before we get too much farther. Yeah. Uh, so for those who don't know, we have a uh, a kind of account slash uh, fundraiser thing on patreon.com p-a-t-r-e-o-n.com slash comic convos c-o-m-i-c-o-n-v-o-s and Mikey Neve Kevin Schrute Susie Marie Tyler Lockridge Cy Kennedy and Cy Kennedy thank are so all much for yeah, contributing thank you guys so much and it's been a couple, little while but we always want to take a second at the start of every episode and thank you so much for your monthly contributions you know we're still getting prize up as you, as you know we have our own life stuff to do and yeah so there's been a lot hard. going on in the lives of Leo and Axel but guys <laughs> Comic Convos is always such a pleasure we gotta bring you the latest in the nerdverse man oh, we gotta so talk about it and there's so much to bring like you said but the Punisher is just the tip of the iceberg and we were just alright so we just had this discussion before <laughs> about the release of the Punisher date so everyone's happy it's released I don't think anybody's happy it's releasing on the same on the days. same day as Justice League because then that makes this ambiguous choice when, honestly, it's not that hard to choose. It is. You would want to see Justice League first. It's the movie that's coming to the theaters, and it's a group up. It's a team up movie. And, and to be fair, uh, you can watch The Punisher any time on it. Yeah. The whole season's anytime. out there. There's, you're not waiting. What's you know, the rush? You know, you can do, you'd even do it right after Justice League if you want. You literally you're literally dedicated. Straight. Go for it. Uh, having said that, like I said, it's it's really more of a snipe move. By Tyler, Marvel. what's up, man? Hey, Tyler. Welcome out. Thanks for your patronage, man. Thanks for tuning in to this episode. Yes, thank you guys so much for being back. It's always great to be back. Always great. And always great to have our people back. Damn, it's been a minute. How's it going? Hey. Fantastic, man. I mean, we're so excited for these latest updates. You know, the Punisher new trailer and release date oh, just man. released today. The release date will be on the exact same day as Justice League. And man, you know, it's giving people a little bit of trouble, but like we were just saying, you can just easily watch The Punisher before Justice League, after Justice League, anytime. You can watch it a month later and it's yeah, still going to be available. Still, and it's still probably going to be pretty good. Like yeah. The new trailer, just like the other one, the, I like it that they use the same song with a different Kind, kind of, of tone, tone. yeah, yes. and a different flow. There are yeah, a couple right. diff there are a couple of the same cuts from the last trailer, but it's like mm, they mixed it up a lot. Better. Right, and like you said, the flow flow being different, 
makes for a different trailer. You know what I mean? That, yeah. that, that is not falling apart. And it was so good again. You know, it's we're getting a view. And so for those people who don't know kind of some of the stuff we're seeing in the trailer and how it relates to his comic book stuff, they've been showing one character working with him particularly, the kind of long-haired guy. Mm -hmm. like he works with computers. And for those who don't know the Punisher very well, uh, you can look up his character's backstory. I'm pretty sure he's portraying Data. That's what I thought. I, mean, I, I assume, I although the else. only big difference being that Data is usually portrayed as a larger, larger fellow. guy. Yeah. yeah. But, I mean, Marvel will revamp characters. Oh, yeah, they don't care at all. No, although they are so want. accurate. I mean, the the whole Misty Knight thing from Defenders. like yeah, that, that was spot was, on. Yeah, that was like, craziness. Right? And then we're already seeing her for Luke Cage 2 with mm -hmm. it. Damn, everything's coming but out Claire cool. is like their original character. Did you, did you see all the stuff they dropped today, too, for the next Daredevil stuff? They have that one. I've not seen so, that. So what? They, they basically dropped a couple of spoilers on the uh, Twitter account. And uh, one of the very first ones, I think it was like, it's, uh, what's the word? The little sheet you get at a funeral. Oh, like a... Um, the obituary. Yeah, obituary. It was the obituary for Matt Murdock. Wow. And it's, yeah, it's like when, you know, good with it. Yeah, because we think it. he's dead. We, Everybody is convinced that he's gone. Which, you know, all, you know, evidence points to that. So, you know, I mean, the building you know, was exploding right in front of them, so... It all points, it all adds up to that, man. That's for sure. Guys, feel free to chime in at any minute, by yeah, the way. You feel know, free to, uh, if you have any interact. thoughts about the pusher, we always love talking to you guys. That's the best part of ours. I'm sure the best part of your guys' night is not talking to us, but... But hey, we thanks hope. for tuning in anyway <laughs> and chiming in as you, as you wish. Definitely, and... Oh, man, there's just been so many great releases. Man. I, I loved it. It's just like... The, I saw a trailer earlier. It's just like... Just to say, man, I just had a great trailer. <laughs> Nobody could top that. Black Panther, Panther. hold my beer. Right? <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then the Punisher's like, both of you just wait, take it, <laughs> take it. Let's see. No one ever dies in the superhero world. Ah, this is true. Ooh, which is which leads us to believe. I know this is going a little bit far out and into left field a little bit, but I mean, Avengers: Infinity War is gonna have to kill someone off. Someone may. They, I think they're even talking they're about hurt. multiple. Because the realistic thing about Thanos, and that's the other thing, you couldn't do it without killing someone off mm -hmm. because then it would have made Ultron. More, more dangerous, powerful. yeah, and powerful because he, he killed because he killed one of the Avengers and then a bunch of people. Now, like I said, I would love to see them pull the uh, the straight up Infinity Gauntlet you know, story of kills the half. He's like he finishes first. the gauntlet. That would be so dope, right? Just like snap of the finger. So oh my god, like Black Widow and, yep. and Spider Man and a couple other people fall over. <laughs> this <is> like, <laughs> what? <laughs> this is like. Oh, I was, Oh. And what's sad though is you know they would do that, but then they would magically appear again. But I'm hoping that he does take out a character for good, and and I'm it's sure just to will. prove you know Thanos and the Infinity Gauntlet's power level, right? And just kind of also I think the seriousness of it because Ultron had that seriousness. Like they've slowly been ramping up. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. From original Avengers of oh we're the Chitauri, I'll destroy everything, yeah. take out the world to Ultron like ah, I just want to kill everyone. To Thanos, who is like, I just want the universe to die. Right? Like, <laughs> I just want to support death. Can can everybody just be dead? Let's all do the dead dance. And I was like, I have a plus one. Wow. Oh, nice. Four people. Hey, Thanks for coming thank out. Thank you guys so much. Uh, and so, with that being said, you know, there, and that, I love it so much. If they did another meme joke, mm -hmm. and it's the scene with Groot from and uh, Yondu and Rocket from Guardians oh, Two, yes, and it's just like, all right, bring us the Infinity Wars trailer, Thor Ragnarok trailer, no, <laughs> no. The, the Infinity, Infinity War War trailer. trailer, Black Panther trailer, <laughs> Captain America should die for good. I think they might. I'm that thinking it's going to be one. him or Iron Man. Yeah, it's, I, I will agree. Two, like, at least major one faces of the Avengers right now, and it will really split things up. You know, and I've heard these stories too. <laughs> he's and this, Hydra. He's Hydra. Die, Hydra. Die. No, he's not Hydra anymore though. Nope. So mm -hmm. they, they have finished know. with that and are now on Marvel Legacy, which, by the way, is doing pretty good. They haven't gone too much farther into that specifically. Hmm. I will also say that for the first time in like. It's run the DC Dark Knights Metal one release when I was really not that impressed with. Oh, that's sad to hear. I heard the same thing actually from a friend at work. Uh, the latest Dark Knight is just kind of yeah. The Drowned is pretty soft serve, yeah. 
I was not very mm-hmm. impressed. That's I sad the, to hear. And and even just some of the story writing logic points where it's like, oh yeah, I can kill Aqua Woman in the water even though I'm Batwoman. Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah, and like, What's, and, where's the logic? And, 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 and this was prior to like a story point that could have given her. It's like, oh, and then I did super experiments on my body, and but you didn't, you couldn't do that before she beat Aqua Woman mm-hmm. to make it logical that she beat Aqua Woman in the water, because realistically, Batman versus Aquaman in the water would be like a dying puppy versus a shark. Seriously, I mean, there's no way. Aqua like, Woman, the like, one somebody who thrives in the water, gets killed in the water. Like it just makes no sense, man. Yeah, that's her very, setting. very bad. Right, and, and there's no good explanation for it there. To be fair, Dark Multiverse. Uh, you know, that's but, just trash. Yeah, the problem is the other ones were so much better. Like Red Death, the Murder Machine, and. Uh, the Red Dead Dawnbreaker. Fucking amazing. Oh, did you check it out? Yeah, I did. It's so good, right? It's so messed up, though, man. It, it is, and that's they the are. great thing. I mean, it's those unexpected elements, and it went from that to garbage? Element. Oh, yes, I love that idea. Of it, it's literally on somebody's meme I saw to say this, where it's like, no, Infinity War trailer, Thor Ragnarok. <laughs> no, <laughs> Infinity Wars. It's like, Black Panther. It's like, like, okay, no. well. Have you seen the It one? Where Pennywise is like in the sewer and he's like, oh, yeah. I have the Infinity War trailer. <laughs> uh, I, I keep saying, like, okay, I would go down the sewer at that point. I probably would. Uh, and... Oh, man, the uh, the one I keep seeing though that's kind of harsh is my vibe sometimes is the uh, that one with the humans. It's like I have the full Inhuman season down here, and it's just the rolling over. Of right. <laughs> and I'm just like, it's not that bad, guys. The last couple episodes were even better than the first two. That's what I'm hearing. Like I'm hearing the next episodes are actually a lot better. A lot. But the the people who are critiquing this have only seen the first two episodes. Most of them. I mean, there are good people person. who are get, dipping into more of it. And don't get me but, wrong, it's not like it's an excellent piece of filmography or anything, but it's definitely not this piece of... Mikey said LL, yes. I wonder what... I'm guessing probably the meme. Yeah. But yeah, uh, Infinity War, I forgot about that. that it's easy have. to because there's not a They're trailer. not building it either right now in the interim, but I'm hoping Black Panther and Thor build that. Yeah. They're the next two and then Infinity War pretty War, much. Yeah. I mean, I think right after Black Panther it's Infinity War. Yeah. Because we go into May I think it's going to be like, part is it so. May? Mm-hmm. Damn, that's so fast. That was the other thing with the Black Panther release that I was so surprised is, yeah, they've been giving us a little bit of tease, but it's realistically been less than a year in my opinion. Yes, yeah. we knew definitively what this Black Panther was going to look exactly. like. Exactly, he's very fresh to the MCU still. Yeah, I mean, we had him in Civil War, and that's it. Yeah, and realistically, like his character doesn't get delved into at all in Civil War. Period. That's what I love about this. I mean, like I said, we could spend a whole episode talking about how awesome the Black Panther trailer yeah. by itself was. Like the music, screen choice. Oh my god, the, the Afro futurism. Oh god, oh, yeah, yeah. The, especially I, the Afro futurism and. Michael B. Jordan's character oh, having the looked, Panther suit, right? Wasn't that awesome? Like that, I was like, I thought that wow. was such a unique idea because they don't really do that in the comics mm-hmm. or anything. And then the other thing is they're doing a lot of throwback hints, like they have the white ape masks yeah, and stuff for Baku. That's they, very. I think they said though that the enemy is either going to be in Baku or Kilgrave or both. And then obviously Scar, uh, Kilgrave. Yeah, but they're having Jordan. I think they're going to have Jordan. Kilgrave. Okay, that's not too bad then. The thing is, I think they're taking a slightly different... Well, because the basis of Kilgrave's thing fits that. He was a Wakandan born who had, like, left a leave or was an orphan and was raised in, like, America or Mm -hmm. England or somewhere. He had a super villain. Yeah, yeah. And so I'm hoping it'll be definitely interesting. Yeah, they had they I had hope stories. they do Black Panther right. It can go really wrong if done if, if not, not done right. I agree, but it looks like they're on the path. It, it, I mean, I, they're, they're, they're looking smooth right, right now. Yeah. yeah, and I mean, poster. We're talking uh, trailers, posters, any promotionals. Honestly, it looks like it's on the right track. But it I will good, say. Yeah. They marketed the hell out of Spider-Man Homecoming, and I haven't seen that since. No, I, but like, I think there's a uh, reason for that, because we talked about how much marketing was too much marketing yeah. in Spider-Man, how Just much was too much of a trailer. Like, even at this point, we're hitting so many Ragnarok trailers, 
that a lot of us, you know, that's not like they've been is, spoiling anything, but, but it's, it's kind of like it's a little much, you it, know. It gets to the point, and I will say, hopefully, that Black Panther won't do that. Hasn't, and a lot of the Netflix series don't don't do that. Do that. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm really looking forward to whenever they get around to it is Legion season two. Yeah, uh, I, mean, I haven't heard anything, man. I've, I've heard, heard about some, some production stuff. I know they're okay. doing. One. I knew that they. I know that it's greenlit, and I know that they're at least in the process of working right, on and it. That's but I don't know where I'm too at much. Yet. That's kind of where I see it right now. I hope... Yeah, they, they did that one already. And so with that, we also have The Gifted being coming out, and that is actually pretty, pretty good. good. Yeah, it's not too bad, man. I, it does suffer from some of the typical TV show problems. Yeah, and it's like TV PG, isn't it? It is, so but it, nothing feels like... Nothing yet feels like kid and childish. Yeah, yeah, like... And, you know, they still, There's some serious problems. Ye- it's just... And they can't go too deep into right. like violence gore or anything like that. Right, but that, you don't necessarily have to with good storytelling. Very true. And yeah. the storytelling, I will say right now, if I had to rank it out of ten, is about seven and a half. I like that. Seven and a half is probably a good, solid put down for the story and the kind of come together characters, especially like that. Like, well, I talked with Izzy about it, but there are characters on there that are original. There are characters on there that. Are new versions of other characters? Well, like, yes and no, but are just even characters that are just less used characters. Like, um, the very tra- less. The, well, and I was even surprised they've actually mixed up a couple of the characters where they're like, like you said, new versions. Yeah, yeah that's so why the tracker thinking. is, I believe, I can't remember if it's John or James Proudstar. Whichever one it is, the one in the show is actually not the brother. Oh, we got a couple comments. Oh, cool. Let's see, we got, I just want Preacher Season 3. I still got to check out Preach, this Preacher Seasons, Kevin. I've only gotten like three or four episodes in a season one, but I want to do more. so good. I got to get into All it. All right, guys, got to get up at four. <laughs> good night and have a hey, good Hey, thank you thank so you much Tyler. for coming out, man. Yeah, Thanks for joining us. Yeah, we appreciate you coming in for this one. Heck yeah, man. But, um, but yeah, the the characters can sometimes be amalgams and other things, although some of them, on the other hand, are really accurate. For example, Polaris. Polaris. Yeah. Polaris. Yeah. Well, that Polaris. one was insanity to, like, do. And then my brother, like, walks in with him and he's like, what are you watching? I'm like, oh, this new show, The Gift. He's like, oh, cool. He's like, wait, is this about mutants? <laughs> <laughs> it's about, like, X-Men. Like, no, yeah. He's like, well, who's that? I was like, oh, that's, you know, blah, blah, blah. He's like, oh, what she do? I was like, ah, oh, you know, she's... Basically, the daughter of Magneto, and mm-hmm. he's like, "Whoa!" <laughs> yeah, so I'm surprised they don't mention that at all. I'm guessing they don't have the rights or something. Uh, it's Fox, so it's but maybe could it happen. Yeah, I don't know, but maybe they're trying to keep that all separate. Right, they're trying right. to just keep that. And then, speaking of, oh my God, we so forgot good. about um New mm-hmm. Mutants. Yep, I told you there's so much stuff to cover. It's more about what are we missing. Yeah, the New Mutants trailer was actually really interesting, especially because it's just bringing a new angle. Yeah, to the, a to horror the, angle. Yeah. Man. Which no superhero movie has done yet. We talked about Spawn wanting wanting to do one. And it wasn't quite there, man. I mean, it's not scary. Well, no, they said they wanted the next one to be one that where he was the villain or whatever. I don't remember talks about it, but it never came out. Yeah, it's still... Well, it's still... Never seen the light of day, has it? They're still in projects. Like, Todd McFarlane's trying to get it all worked out. I think they're actually starting filming this year, but... Really? I think so. They've gotten a lot of green. What did they get for Spawn? I don't know. No idea. I'm original guy? I, mean, I really good. would, like, uh, who was it? Michael, Michael Jack White? Yeah. Mm-hmm. He was Fantastic such a guy. good fucking Spawn man. Yeah. I, that was the best part of that Spawn movie. Was, was him. Like, that in the cape. Just the way that he portrayed the struggle, man. Yeah, and, like, like the, the anger, yeah, like, that kind of... Rage. Yeah, that fire that you it get was from that character. awesome. I, which is really cool, because Spawn deserves a good portrayal like that, mm-hmm. and deserves another good portrayal, because he is... Like, that was the other thing that they made, is, like, Marvel's like, first black superhero movies like Bl- Blade and, <laughs> and he's like Spawn bitch, <laughs> like, <laughs> like hold on hold on this is not the first black superhero movie there have been several to precede this this is just the first in the MCU yes I think they said they can't even say first Marvel black superhero nope, nope. just that was Blade, and it kicked off most of the... Like I said, we've had this debate about which movie really kicked off the superhero franchise run. And, like, those two movies, Spawn and Blade, even though they were not at, like, the pinnacle of the run... They still I, kicked I, off, Yeah, man. I still think they're precursors to the whole... To the whole superhero movie genre, period. Because you had those two movies, and then Spider-Man came out, and the whole trilogy of Spider-Man came out. Yeah, then The Dark Knight came, and then... Marvel came up with the MCU yep. around the same time. You know, it's like this was a domino effect. It really and they started was. it all. It really was, and they did. You know, don't get me wrong. There are other movies that push them. For example, I think 
Yeah, whether it was Hulk or which. Oh God, the first Hulk is bad, man. It is, but it's like the most accurate Hulk portrayal as far as like, like him jumping across the country and like playing with tanks like they're rocks. It it is so so accurate, though. Like, but for uh, the time, that's the other thing people forget. For the time, it was like two thousand one. One. So like the graphics for the time. Shit. Ah. That for oh during that time. Yeah. Yes. Now the for now. Things. You guys watched hey, hey, Humans yet? Yes. Yes. I, like I said, he's, I, been, he's epi- in episode four. Yep. I'm gonna re- watch five when I get home. Because I think it come it came out recently, or and, maybe it's coming out. Coming and you know, soon. people are saying people are kind. Of, I feel like critics are, but people are agreeing that after episode two, things start to get even better. I get. A, I feel like there's a consensus, at least in general, that it's not as bad as the critics make it appear. Mm-hmm. And then on the other hand, I do get people who are like, "Oh, this is the trashiest, this is shitty thing." And once again, I always find them to be somewhat vague in their things, like terrible writing, terrible production, terrible. Rah, rah, rah. And I was like, "It's like where are the examples?" Yeah, like it takes like three examples to do terrible writing. And it's like, oh, you know, they had people cut Medusa's hair with this or that or blah 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 and get the snow butter. There you go. There's an example of bad writing. But yep. no one ever gives me that. They're just like bad writing. I don't like it. Nobody provides examples, man. I, I will say this though: this is a strong effort to write any kind of oh yeah Inhumans TV show. Oh, especially how ostracized they are from the rest of the Marvel universe, even in the comic books. Like writing uh, Inhumans stories was few and far between. I mean, you got Black Bolt who doesn't talk. That alone is like, how do you build something right. around all of that? And then the rest of the Inhuman Royal family is not what you would call uh, cuddly. Uh, they're very yeah. like brusque characters, like every single one of them mm-hmm. pretty much. Hardened, very, like you said, culturally brusque. like, well, they're just used to it. They're royalty where they're from. They're kings and queens and princes. And, and sit at the top of the thrones, thrones, man. Like, right. People look at them and bow. And, mm-hmm. and in this one, it's very much somewhat the same, but it's very different. I do like, you'll, you, and you'll see when you catch up, but like, the more the episodes go along, they're getting their kind of like, oh, well, how does, does this interaction kind of play out from where we were before? And it's a great, because you, one, you get to see a couple different interactions. The one right now, like I said, they finally had their first memeable moment in episode three, mm-hmm. which is the, I don't know if you've seen it around, but it's Medusa interacting with an ATM machine. Yeah. I gotta see it. Yeah, you gotta see saw that one. a bunch it's of people so, complain about the first episode of season six of Green Arrow. I uh, saw surprised. that too, but I'm not caught up. I'm not even caught up on I, Arrow oh, I didn't, Flash. I, I didn't tell you, I finally started trudging my way back to I heard, Arrow. I heard, I saw you uh, posted a status and I was like, oh boy, swallow the, swallow that down, man. I'm it's working hard. through, I'm almost <laughs> to season three again. So. Okay. Oh, you, you scooch in there. I feel like they've only recently become a bit more popular to begin with. But this is bad publicity. I don't know if they'll keep growing a strong fan base. I will say this. Marvel has so much going on right now that it might almost be hard to keep up with that. Like, it's like Inhumans is going on. And like you're saying, Kevin, I don't see a huge push for it either. I see a lot of the gifted. I I mean, we saw the Punisher today. Uh, they're even still kind of dipping in some Defender stuff. And also, um, they got Thor Ragnarok a week away. Black Panther only Black a couple Panther, months out. Black Panther months out. I mean, they, I mean, and we're talking a week away with Thor Ragnarok. The week after that, we also have The Punisher. I mean, it's like things are just continuously dropping. And I will say, Marvel, especially the movie universe and the TV show universe, they will throw some shout-outs, especially in movies, to Star Wars, and they'll put emphasis, a little bit of emphasis on that because, A, they make Star Wars comics now, and, B, Disney is, I mean, Disney has them, you know. Disney yeah, that's Marvel part of the Lucas family, film, yeah. so they're going to keep on streaming it through all the channels. Yeah, I, I do agree with Kevin, though. This could be potentially harmful to the kind of budding in humans fan base. Yeah. I will say the, the problem isn't solely... Comic or uh, show based, like if it was just a show, and the comics. And I was still just talking about specifically oh, this I, TV. I show. know, I know, but I'm just addressing his in like the larger context of the, while that's true for that. It's not by any means 
unique for the Inhumans. <laughs> I love Star Wars. Agreed. Yeah, we have shared, me and Kevin have shared so many conversations in the Star Wars groups and discussions and status and stuff, man. That's awesome. Yeah, Star Wars. I'm we're really definitely looking hyped forward. for the new, like, all right, so the new tr- Star Wars trailer, right? Yep, backing up, because we, it, like I said, <laughs> there's all these more too. stuff, man. Yes. There's all, like, there's a we, lot. Take, we take a couple weeks off and everything explodes. Um, and so that, there was a lot of conjecture on that. You know, what's crazy is like the director, Ryan Johnson, said, don't watch the trailer, it's going to be some spoil drops. Honestly, it raised more questions than it Yes, yeah, I had zero, like, I was like, yes, at the same time, it's like, oh, well, we get this kind of you get a conflict little, right. or whatever. And, and like, some people have been conjecturing that... Uh, you know, whatever rave, or and you know, you get but some you context, right? You can't piece it together. Yeah, the, the context is unclear, even if it is suggested. Exactly. And, and people are even breaking down things so much. Oh, well, like I saw the one. Yeah, this one doesn't have the light. Yeah, in this exactly. One. Right. I saw that one. <laughs> right. I saw that one. Like the light can't be mirrored to each other. The colors they're different scenes. Oh my goodness! I it's like the that. color code breakdown and everything. It's like no, this has this lighting, this has this colors. You can they're see not the same thing. Embers. <laughs> There's this whole like six thing breakdown. It's like here, yep, here, all here. these circles and stuff. And we like, went back on that like ten minutes before it aired. He, he was, was like, like, you know no, what? Watch, watch it. it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, might as well. Because it's like, it raises so many more questions than it does which I think spoils. Is, which I think is what a trailer should do. Oh, yeah. It's not this should be perfect. about revealing. It should be, which some do well and some don't do well. For I feel like Marvel does not do a good job of that. No, especially for their movies, man. Whereas DC, uh, for Justice League, for example, I mean, I kind of got the basics of what's going on, but realistically, the actual plot of... The movie, which it's just going to break down to boom tubes and parademons, but who cares? We still don't know how they get there. Right. We don't know the details of and it. And the big important. question is who is that that Alfred is talking to at the Yes, trailer? there's all kind. Well, and even beyond that, we've got the newest trailer with uh, Cavill in the field. Yep. Which my father was just like, well, are they going to have Superman? I was like, I'm pretty sure they've kind of bookmarked us as, as the death and rebirth of Superman are. Yeah, because he's in the cast list. Yeah, he, well, I mean, he, he shows up in that thing, but yeah. does he... Sh- but the real question is when he shows up as Superman and when he shows... And like I said, I think the problem with this one is going to be, if you bring him back, everyone's going to be like, I knew it. If you don't bring him back, everyone's not going to be happy. Yeah, and it's like, how do you kind of meet that sweet middle ground to solve yes, everyone's problems? Yeah, and it's never problem. easy. And, uh, and I'm having a bunch of tough times on my own. Some people are theorizing that Alfred is talking about the Green Lantern. Gre- the, there's all kinds of theorizations. Green Lantern, Supergirl, Super Girl, all kinds uh, of different. Martian Manhunter, oh, or Shazam. Wow. You know what I mean? Shazam would be Shazam awesome. was a big one because they're like, oh, there's a red. And there's and a there's, movie planned. There is. But, you know, there's there's all kinds of stuff planned for the DC universe that we're not, you know, we got the Dark Knight even. Oh, man. Yeah, there's just so much. That's the thing about DC right now is they have a lot of things floating in the air. Um, I will this, say, what we haven't really heard that many updates from Young Justice Season 3. No. The sh- live action Teen Titans. We got a, just got an update, actually, oh, on really? the actor who plays Beast Boy. They just cast well, good. I'm glad they're casting, but I'm like, dude, oh, yeah, this I is mean, just still so floating. Everything's just so in the I air. Mean, for but, them. And that's comics are doing well, but they, it's like they are, they are. Although they've been seeing dips from the like the dark metal stuff's good, but after its original push out, they've been seeing some dips compared to like well, Legacy was still like the most sold comic on its release. Like, oh, I'm sure. That, that's the problem. Is like even when Marvel does bad in comics, they do comparable to DC in comics. So they make up for it in their own ways. Especially, oh yeah, and then everyone like I said, we, I said at this point you have different layers of things. People are always like I said, I can't get over how much DC hate there is out there. I don't know why either. I mean, it's like okay, I get that they made a couple bad movies, but let's think about it, guys. They've made fantastic. The Dark Knight is one of the best comic books I will ever read. Period. Oh yeah. In my entire lifetime, and that was DC. Not to men- not only to mention that, but they've had a lot of good comic runs throughout their entire history. It's like, why are we throwing away so much great DC? Not 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 to even um, excuse me, not to forget the animated universe, uh-huh. which is fucking golden. Everything um, we do in the Dark Knight trilogy, uh, the movies, fan fucking tastic, and even recently Wonder Woman. What? 
Which I keep, getting, I keep getting half and half, and, and it just reminds me how different people are. That a movie that I saw and could be like touched, you know, on a, on my soul, and, right. and other people are like, "This is, this is terrible." I yeah, I, I mean, some out. people just need something to hate. You know, I mean, some people just want to be so against. Which I will say this about Marvel: their Star Wars comics are pretty dope. Oh um, my God. I just got through Phasma. Oh, Ooh, nice. so good. It is the the uh, lead up or whatever. Captain Phasma. Yep, yes. yep. You'll see the rest in the Last Jedi. I'm just like, oh, oh my god, loved it. it's I'm, so good. Yeah, it is. And I was like, I'm glad to see Phasma actually being evil and doing stuff for the first time. Have, have you been keeping up on the new Vader run? Yes, I've been probably a couple issues behind, but yes, I've been. But that's cool. You've seen him. So, see, so you've seen him r now going to get his saber, yep. right? Yeah, that's I see him like about to build and stuff, and I think I left off. Right when they mentioned it, which is cool because they just they they do really good writing on that. It's like, oh, how do you get a red light lightsaber? It has to bleed. Right? Right? <laughs> it's so dark. Their Star Wars stuff is amazing. It really so, is. Not to mention the Darth Maul run was awesome. Oh, the page where he took him to the old world and showed him like you know all the Jedi that slayed the Sith for their different beliefs and stuff. That fucking panel is one of the best. Star Wars panels out there. That whole run on Maul, though, has got to be one of his most visceral ones. Even though the other ones might have, like, slightly better story or whatever, this and that, that one depicts and, like, explains him so He's well. So it's like, why wow. are you doing this? I'm just hate and anger and, and like and there's some good and you know I will say this like Sidious really taught him how to hate well I mean just putting him in that in that scene and telling him you know we have to get our revenge we have to exact our hate on the yeah, Jedi this is our right our, exactly. our divine retribution kind of thing it, yeah, it's it was, like wow it was so crazy too that they make Sidious like that's the other thing they write these characters so well that I when I read them it's like I'm reading Sidious yeah. you know what I mean I'm not you know that that's how right. Sidious is. If he talks this way, he, he, he whispers in your ear until mm -hmm. he grabs hold of your brain, basically. Exactly. He manipulates And you. that is the best thing about him as a character, because he's never the most powerful of Jedi. I mean, Mace Windu would almost... Almost beat him. Would have beat him, you know what I mean? Even, yeah, I mean, and he, would, he had him on edge. On the, on the ropes, and... And some people theorize, oh, he just did that to have Anakin turn to the dark side. There's a million know. ways to do oh, that. If you guys read any of the new Star Wars books, I'm actually I'm about to get that Perspectives yet. book. Um, I really want to dive into that. I'm looking forward to seeing the new Aquaman. It looks good to me. I mean, I thought that was great. Hey, it's Corey. Cool. Sounds like I need more comics in my life. Comics are awesome, Corey. Yes. Uh, What's up, Targets? It's Tankins. Tankins. And, uh, blind. <laughs> no, it's good. He, he's got an interesting one. But, uh, you definitely should check him out. I will say that the greatest thing about comic books is the storylines and the ideas. And losing yourself. Well, I was just comic, explaining man. to Tangens the other day about, uh, the Sentry. I was giving him the rundown on the Sentry, which is like. And he, he already kind of oh, had an he? idea of what, yeah. <laughs> having said Basically, that, though, he. having said that, though, I was uh, just also watching a video on the Blue Marvel breakdown stuff. Oh, man. Talk about overpowered. Yeah, no, yeah there is no such thing as uh, too overpowered in that book. Like I said, it's, it, it, I just love the new Ultimates run on it where it's just like, wait, did he just... Is there a the Blue Marvel solo in right now? Not right now. Okay, I didn't think so. No. I wish there was. That would be awesome. He needs his own... problem is he's such a powerful character right It, it would be us. hard to write a villain powerful enough mm -hmm. for him. Like, it, and even the one that... like It's just such this big thing once you get to that level of power and thing. It's like, who do we have him fight? Evil him? Right. Like, I don't know. <laughs> Another version of himself? Uh, that's because that's I so would love original. To, I would love to see that, though. Uh, like an alternate evil version okay, of Okay, if Marvel. we're talking a little bit more of a twist, I'm down. I, I want a little twist, like some kind of like thing, but like... Especially because, unlike the Sentry, who is this balanced character of like good, evil power, like offset, mm -hmm. this Blue Marvel has never been that way. He has always been basically pure, unadulterated power for the good of mankind. Exactly, you know I mean? it's always been for the good. Yep. And so to see that kind of power, we get it a little bit with Anti Man or whatever in the comics as his enemy, but to see the actual character of Blue Marvel kind of twist, sometimes those are cool when done right. Like. 
I feel like the when story is the most logical. Yeah, right. when there's good storytelling, well, like I said, the, the good flow. And that's the other cool thing about so the Dark Knights run mm -hmm. right now. What they're doing, the evil Bruce's, is the all of the uh, ones that they've shown so far in all these universes. And I didn't know to know this until I was reading some of the DC forums and stuff. Mm -hmm. They are based on currently existing multiversal versions of Batman. That's uh, uh, so, pretty excellent. Actually. Yeah, it's really so. For example, in the Oathbreaker. It's uh, Earth negative forty four, I believe. Jeez. And in Earth forty four, mm -hmm. just as in Earth negative forty four, Bruce Wayne becomes the Green Lantern. But you, but in the negative universe, instead of becoming the you know the greater good or blah blah blah, blah he kills uh, Joe Chill with the Green Lantern. Ring. Whoa! And then it goes on to like fuck shit up, bro. Like that, that was one is probably one. Point. Oh well, and the, just that guy's like fighting thing with like. Because the other Batman and stuff, like, yeah, they beat up Superman and the Justice League and everybody else in the world. But the Dawnbreaker was, you know, messing with the Guardians of the Universe. and <laughs> So it's just like, that's just getting to be too much. Like, yeah, well, that was my thing, too, is like, you should, like I said, you should definitely check out Murder Machine and Dawnbreaker. Or Oathbreaker, I think it's Dawnbreaker. Oathbreaker, I thought. Yeah, it might be Oathbreaker. Um, those two are great. I did not like The Drowned. The Drowned was not... Oh, is that the, the newest one? Yeah, the Aqua Woman. Well, it's the Bat Aqua Woman. It's just Aqua Woman. It doesn't make too much sense as it sounds. It doesn't. And like I said, the other <laughs> the other thing about it that I thought was insane, like I said, is they're currently uh, corresponding. Like you said, the forty four in that Warbit version, they're both Green Lanterns. It's just one's good, one's bad. bad. Same with Earth fourteen with the Drown. There's one good one, there's one bad. Right. And so it's just really interesting to see these. And I didn't know because I'm not well-versed enough in the DC's current multiverse or past multiverse. I'm trying to get there. But uh, that's like an awesome connection. You know what I mean? That's an mm -hmm. awesome run. So I'm wondering if they can do that. I was like, okay, so now we're going to pull the good versions of these Batman and fight back the evil into versions. the evil. Yeah, hopefully so, man. Something. I mean, that was it's some pretty, storytelling. Yeah, because it's pretty fucked right now, bro, as far as like... They're causing wreck, aren't they? Oh, see, like, everyone's shit. getting mm, fucking monster dumped. <laughs> They show up, beat the shit out of Green Lantern, show up, beat the shit out of Aquaman, oh. show up, beat the shit out of Cyborg, Cyborg and shit. show up, through the fucking League. Superman ends up trapped in a battery or some shit, it's like, what? yeah, you gotta see it, it's fucking crazy, dude. Oh my goodness. It's, it's like, oh yeah, and the art and everything is like, awesome. Oh, great. Man, I've been reading, lately I've been also checking out this comic, have you read The Star Wars? No, I don't think I've read that one yet. So this is a, a run, a full run of the f original Lucas script oh, in wow. comic book format. Oh, is, is that not original? Probably, is that the original run they did? The 177 page issue? No, no, not that one. This is just a, another one volume of oh, one okay. shot. And this is just literally the very first concept. The, I mean, it might have even been pre before script. This is just the concept he had for Star Wars. And it's, oh, wow. Incredibly, incredibly weird, man. It's like it's one of those things where you're reading the book and it's like, okay, this is the original idea. If this were its own thing, it might not be that bad, right? But the fact that it's Star Wars makes it garbage, man. Darth Vader is not a Sith, first of all. Oh wow! So that just kind of dropped it down for me. I was yeah, like, reading through it, I got halfway through, and I'm like. Oh, cause like he called this other guy over who was a Sith, and he was like, "I need the I need the help of a Sith to go find these Jedi." Oh, the Jedi. First of all, Luke Skywalker is in no relation to Darth Vader. Um, they're two different characters. He looks older, um, and then so he's like this Jedi general or whatever. And Anakin is another a completely other character. Um, he's a teenage son of Luke's best friend. So Luke is like training him. It's just really weird. And Leia's actually a princess, and she's not related to Luke at all. And I believe that they, that both Luke and Anakin like her. So it's like really fucking weird. And <laughs> Han Solo is an alien. <laughs> this really sounds weird. Chewbacca's like some goblin thing. And Darth Vader has the mask, like he has the helmet, but he's has a human face. Oh, wow. so I'm like that looks incredibly cheesy. We, yeah, that would look a little weird. All too. the Jedi have um, red lightsabers. Anybody who can use the Force in the book has a red lightsaber, and then the lightsabers are used as actual weapons, like in the Clone Wars. Um, they're used as they're just like white colored for people who can't use the Force. 
Um, and it's weird because they call it the force of others. Um, it's just as I need to read this. Yeah, yeah I need to really, read it. really it's weird. weird. It's, it's weird one of those enough. things where, like I said, if this existed on its own, it may not be that. It wouldn't be that bad. It never would have been successful context, yeah. in Star Wars, but. It was not that bad. It's something to check out, especially if you're just like a mega fan. It's something to just kind of keep in your back pocket. I'm going to be bringing you to some surprises when I come down. Hey, man. Oh, thank man. you. Surprises. Surprise. You're getting to show up on a Comic Convos episode, bro. Surprise. Heck yeah. We're bringing you in. We're going to we're gonna put like a little sign up above us like, welcome patrons. <laughs> 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 GTFO. <laughs> <laughs> I will say though, going back to the Darth Maul comic, I'm really glad that they made her, him kill her because it showed that he did have this thirst, this fostering want to kill Jedi. Like that's the problem with some of the Sith and some of the stories, especially in like the Star Wars EU, is that you have this these certain characters that are so back and forth that it's like okay now you're now you're to the point where if you have to kill somebody oh you're gonna convert back to the light side prime example of skywalkers but there have been other examples for van here and there you know there's other people and, just like, and it eh. does soft like you said soft serves up the dark side like the dark side needs <laughs> what's the the rig and morty quote from the last episode everybody wants to be to knocked, knocked out nobody, nobody wants, wants to, to be, be dead, dead. <laughs> it's like you know there's a reason that these you know the Evil people do evil things. Did they the repent world. son of Dathomir? I don't think so. I no, not a reprint. As far as I know, no, maybe a no, I don't remember any reprints, but I want to read that one again. I yeah. love Son of Dathomir and Darth Maul. That's such a great The Darth Maul stories are amazing. It, it's still heartbreaking. I'm even seeing years most after. of the extended universe is freaking amazing. amazing. Yeah. I mean, it's just uh, and see Dark Horse is the one that did the Star Wars. Yeah. But it's not canon anyway. It never was, but it's still like uh it's just ancient. It's still so yeah. good though. Oh man. Like a lot I will of never argue. That shit is amazing. And I will say I've not really read an EU story that I was just like, this is garbage, I just have to put it down. Yeah, I've never gotten to that, but like they did a really even though they let anyone and everyone basically write for the series, they did a really good job of pruning out mm -hmm. any bad books. Like I there's something like 60 or 80 minimum, and, yeah. and there's not a bad one I've read so far. So. The stories on Mara Jade Skywalker are really good, too. Yeah. And the Naomi Sunrider stuff. Oh, oh, dude, I Naomi God. Sunrider is by far one of my favorite Jedi. Like I said, she's like the only one who's ever been able, as far as I've seen on most of them, to do force uh, sealing. Sealing, yeah. Which is, you know, that's just a fucked up move right there. It's just like... <sighs> <sighs> All right, you're blind, uh, deaf, and yeah. dumb. Get out of here. <laughs> Just done. It's like, wait, I can't feel the force, and you never will. <laughs> <laughs> Because I took it all away from her. That shit, bitch. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> she was a good Jedi. And, and the EU Luke was such a good fucking Jedi. Yeah. Like, I fucking, and I love the, the, you know, the small amount of time when he went to the dark side to just kind of go on undercover and stuff. This is the only Dark Horse Star Wars that's actually canon, and that makes me happy. Good but point. It is canon. Yeah, that, is, that was looped into the canon. That's cool. Yeah. I didn't know that one was canon. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Yep. It's, I love it when something becomes canon. Oh, they just need to. They. This is some people's theory that they're kind of slowly remaking the EU, just kind of slowly but surely putting those elements right back in. Which I would be happy with. You know, yeah. they, maybe keep the ones you need, and not keep the ones you need. That's fine. The thing is, and, and here's the thing we talk about, and why everyone's so disappointed in the DC EU in a lot of ways, is that these connections that we make in these stories. You know what I mean? These small interconnected things, they are what build like the web of the universe mm -hmm. and they make us feel more attached to other characters, to other new concepts. Like I said, the, you know, if you would attach, say, a new hero or one of the, one of the classic heroes to the Inhumans run, anybody, you know, Fantastic Four, uh, it's hard because the Inhumans don't deal with that, but the whole... No. They're really any but any classic who could interact with them potentially mm -hmm. would automatically bring them credit. You know what I mean? Just the even even though it's shitty and done, it's it like automatically a, throw them in, into the universe into and universe bring them into forward. context yeah. and basically legitimize them, you just know like I mean? they did with Thrawn. Oh yeah, the Thrawn stuff is canon. Yeah, I didn't know about that either. But oh wow, I had no idea the Thrawn trilogy was. 
Yeah, canon. That's really how, interesting. How, how I wonder. If, well, I guess it's just canon in between. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. It's like yeah, it happens it's in so canon. much in between. Which stuff. that's it's the other, rebels, that's I mean. the other thing that DC and Marvel are both getting shit for right now. That they're even though and Marvel, I'm surprised isn't paying more attention to this because they do they they do this more is for the lack of interconnectedness and like continuity in their world you can't have people showing up in six stories every week like yeah how, the, oh, without explaining the timeline or anything or what's how going on. It's, yeah it's like didn't batman show up in superman all-star batman detective he comics showed up action in comics so many dude justice league he showed up in all of at least all of soup's lines his own lines by the way he oh, has I the mean, most honestly if you if we had a thing i'd probably he's probably have this him or Soups probably have the most guest appearances of all time. They're Period. in everybody else's comics. Not the trilogy, but the just the character. Yeah, just oh, the character. just Thrawn. Oh, okay. There's a, There's new, a new Thrawn, Thrawn series. series coming first out. book is awesome. Ooh. Mm, can't wait for that. Well, I'll have to check that out. Wait, it's coming out or the first book is already out? I'll have to check that out, man. Well, he said the first awesome. book is first awesome, book is so awesome. it's got to be out right out. Dude, I didn't know there was a new. I didn't even know there was a new Thrawn series. Yeah, I had no idea. I'm gonna have to stay up. But well, we're so busy all the time with all this new stuff. I said no. gifted. Uh, he was Black Panther, which st it still looks so fucking. Amazing. Oh, that music was just perfect for that trailer. It was like, ah, oh, there. Should, should we do a run? Let's do a run. It's such a good trailer. It's such a good trailer. The trailer is phenomenal. Like, I could watch this trailer again and again. The Thor one, too, but this one even more just has that watchability. Yeah, it really does. The book is out. Awesome. All right. What's the... Uh, picking that up. What's the title, if you don't mind? That's on so the new Thrawn, huh? Wow. Is this yeah, I just got finished reading the Thrawn trilogy. That's awesome. Really good books. Um, I listened to them all on audio tape. Really good. Wait, I don't think this is the right one. That's the other one. Oh, is that the first... Yeah, that's the other problem is like you go to look up these trailers, you're like, oh, the nuts is audio here format as well. Yes. Yes! There we go. No, I think this is. Yep. Damn it. What the hell? Right? Alright. That should be the first to come up. It should, because it's the newest one, but it doesn't work that way. So, October. Star Wars Thrawn. Yep. I'm getting that book. Definitely. The Star Wars community, by the way, shares their shares the books around so much that like buying the book is just yeah. Not worth it. It's basically free media. Oh, start that over. I have seen gods fly. I've seen men build weapons that I couldn't even imagine. Uh huh. I've seen aliens drop from the sky. Here's 
Ooh, man, I love the emphasis on the technology, man. Which is great, and that's one thing I really liked about it, too, is the gravity of the opening, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. like, I've seen gods fly, men build weapons I couldn't even imagine, aliens drop from the sky, but I've, I've never, never seen, seen it. It's, it's, it, it emphasizes it's been, just how great of a place it is. It is, and Wakanda is always so been... That's what people forget, is like, Wakanda is such a small part of the Marvel Universe that people forget it's the most advanced country, the richest Period. country, the, you know, end all, be all. They basically said, all right, we like, we don't like America, we're just going to make an African nation that's better than everybody. Exactly. And they did. It literally it's, is. It is. Yeah. And it has its own, don't get me wrong, the, 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 the recent series on Black Panthers, or on Black Panther, that dealt with more of the Wakanda, like, government, is mm -hmm. so powerful. And so reminiscent of, like, some of the American political things where it's just like, you know, I thought, you know, that we are Wakanda, and, and it is. And so people often forget, like, Wakanda technology usually outclasses Starks. Uh, Wakanda, yeah. Pretty much it's the most general. advanced in the world, in yeah. the universe, he, almost. He's himself, by Panther, is considered, like, one of the eight smartest men in the world. Mm -hmm. uh, the richest character, the, re the richest human character in comic books, I will say. Okay. Because there have been other, you know... Blah, blah, blah. Extra well, we've just... We've, uh, I had the discussion with other people. It was like, all right, well, who else would have, you know... And there's like, well, technically, Thor, Odin, they, oh, Asgard. Yeah. And then my stipulation was the Collector. Collector's probably got more combined valuables than almost like any, anyone. If you go back into the comics, the Collector talks about having items from prior to the existence of this universe... From yeah, no, like Jeez. shit that yeah, like shit that you could not imagine. That's that's what he breathe breathes. You I mean, mean, well, see, yeah, if we're talking strictly Earth, a human character, then it's Pen. It's Black Panther. There's never been anybody else who's shown near the level of wealth or anything like it, it, to the point that Wakanda is a world power, being a, such a small nation. That to the point that. They, I, I can't remember, but it was during the Civil War II thing where when Black Panther said he was done, it was done. You know what I mean? It was, it, 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 I think it was to do with the Ultimates, but he was like, yeah, I don't support your movement anymore, and so nobody supports your movement right, anymore. So we're all dead. Yep. That, that also was, by Timothy Zahn. Oh, oh just like the other trilogy. Now, wrong. that's awesome. They wow. keep the same writer from the trilogy. That means that it's good. Is, yeah, that's That means cool. it's definitely good, because those were great books. Def definitely. I enjoyed this shit out of Yeah. Well, we're hitting our wrap-up point here, guys. Just Nine o'clock. Um, if there's any other questions, feel free to let us know. Uh, but we've got so much coming out, guys, from Star Wars to Black Panther, The Punisher. Like I said, I know we it's, missed something. You know what the, I mean? gifted. the Gifted. The Gifted. What's going on? I mean, we're talking about what's going on now in humans, uh, the whole Flareoverse and whatnot. Oh, yeah. The, the new, just, which everybody got shit except for Supergirl, which I found funny. Everybody got shit on their super. I'm their not first surprised. episode premiere. Uh, Legends got shit. Flash got shit. Green Arrow, Arrow I saw them. Saw a lot of crap. But they did a big crazy kind of thing for that that reveal. So I'll have to go watch. Yeah, same. But eventually, right, <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, like one I of those catch things up. you gotta catch up. Yep. Uh, same for me in the Legends of Tomorrow. Like. I can't believe they got Maybe, season. Yeah, the legends yeah. are done. It's like, yeah, they should be. I saw that meme. It's like, they uh, should have been done after season, season one. one. <laughs> but, you know, that's how it is. Things happen. Yep. All right. Well, I think besides that, you know, you can check us out anywhere online at uh, either Axel Grave or 3D Productions for me. You can check me out at the Blur Blog or on my Facebook. Instagram or Twitter, Leo Rydell. Guys, I'm starting to have videos come out. There's a lot of new content rolling through. And did you have any announcements? I believe I have a show coming up uh, October 28th. Yes. At the uh, Streets of London pub off of Park Avenue in Colfax near downtown. Right on. It's a uh, reminder. Yeah, I'll let you know. It's 21 and up for the people who might want to come. I think Michael's going to come since he's out here while we're doing that. Uh, you know, just come down, watch some good local music. I think so it's like eight eight dollars pre sale, ten at the door. So hit me up for tickets oh, if you need shit. some. That's We're almost done. Yeah, right. I mean, shoot, I paid that much for support lunch. locals. Support locals. Skip one lunch and support a local. Oh, seriously, like make PB and J support the locals. <laughs> yeah, exactly <laughs> for the price of a cup of coffee. Realistically, I mean <laughs> Starbucks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
goodness. All right, guys. Well, I think with that, that's going to be the end of this episode. Thanks again for tuning yeah, in. Yeah, thanks for coming out, guys. We'll be back next week. See y'all later. See you later. If you enjoyed watching or want to support the channel, remember to attack that like button. Subscribe on YouTube, follow on Twitch, or join our Discord using the link on screen or in the description below so that you can get daily updates on all of our uploads and live streams. We know we're not perfect and we can always improve, so please visit our Discord or comment below with a critique or a compliment to let us know how we can improve ourselves. Finally, if you're just starting for more content, you can become an honorary member of 3D Productions at patreon.com slash 3D and get exclusive access for as low as a dollar a month.